How's it? IndianCowboyDocSports.com. Going to try on Tuesday, October the 18th, as we get this video to you. Have your free pick winner in just a second. Today, we had a free pick winner on Monday, yesterday. We gave you the Broncos plus the four, and they ended up winning, uh, covering the plus four uh, within the number. And then on Sunday, I think we gave you the free pick winner for Monday, which was the over, which we missed. So, one and one free pick winners uh, selections of late. We are on a five and two, seven and three free pick run, 11 and six. 17 and 10, uh, 25 and 13, 30 and 16, which is you know basically 66% for a month and a half, not to mention 151 and 113 long-term. Hello, I am Indian Cowboy. This is uh, Doc Sports or Rune Shiva. Uh, Indian Cowboy has been around for 18 years and 10 months now, almost 11 months. Doc Sports has been around for 52 years, been around a long time. How this works is our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Indian Cowboy. A lot of other great statisticians and uh and uh, handicappers there. In addition to that, uh, we do our next best selection, our YouTube premium selections, where we give you two extra selections every single day. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're looking, we recently gave you the bills on uh, Sunday night, I think, for a YouTube premium selection. And um, we had the Guardians Yankees, we gave you a lean there, uh, but uh, that was uh, postponed. But we gave you the Ducks Rangers as well, uh, which was a win. So basically, uh, we've had uh, successful YouTube premium videos the last two days. And, um, you know, I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics as well. That's how these algorithms work. And uh, finally, free $60 worth of premium selections on the link below pinned to the comment section at the top, along with the link to YouTube premium, how to join that as well. Be sure to check our Twitter for our latest consensus polls, our trends on late night ball games, our hot takes on sports, and tons of other useful content, especially if you are a sports fan. Um, so what's up in our neck of the woods? Well, we have a seven unit baseball selection today, which goes off tonight at eight Eastern. And uh, we're six and one in the playoffs, plus 1900, plus 7,400 on the season. A win today puts us at plus 8,100. Love the selection today, so looking forward to that. As far as our NBA selection is concerned, we have a four unit selection tonight uh, between, actually uh, make it a six unit selection tonight between Philadelphia and Boston. So looking forward to that as well. So a six-unit uh, selection today between the Celtics and the Sixers, and we can't wait for you to join us. So hopefully we'll go 1-0 to start the NBA season. And uh, remember, we posted plus 25,000 the last seven years in the NBA. We posted plus uh, 9,200 in one of our best seasons in 2019 to 2020, and then we were over plus 5,000 heading into February in the NBA. So we're looking to try to have a great season this year. Thursday uh, in football, we had a down week in football. Uh, the last couple of weeks has been really been that great for us in football, but we are plus 6,000 in NFL the last two years. I suspect we're going to have a good football week this week. Uh, I will be doing a live show uh, Wednesday night. It'll either be for the entire public or just for YouTube Premium. Not entirely sure yet, uh, but that'll be tomorrow night. Uh, that'll run for at least 20 minutes, so looking forward to getting you that. Um, and we'll talk about a lot of games on that on that video. Uh, it'll probably be just for YouTube Premium, but uh, looking forward to getting you that. NHL, uh, plus 8,900 the last two years. I'm sorry, plus 8,900 last year in hockey. And uh, back to back winning years plus thirteen thousand five hundred. Hopefully we'll have a great NHL. Um, you know, hopefully we'll have a great NHL season this year as well. All right, so football, baseball, NBA, hockey, soccer. Uh, nice winner recently. We're on a really nice run soccer in soccer recently. Wolves Crystal Palace uh, selection today. Golf back on the U.S. soil in South Carolina. MMA seventeen and four run with MMA selections, and that's about it. All right, let's get to our free pick winner today, and we are going to go with. Um, you know, we had two choices here. We could have either done, you know, I wanted to see who the uh, starters were in the Yankees game. Um, but I actually like the Yankees run line today. And I'll talk about the Lakers Golden State game as well. Um, both of them are, are good opportunities for us. But you know, I like the Yankees run line here. I think Cortez, um, you know, went five innings, six hits and two runs. I think the postponement was a real beneficial uh, element for the Yankees because they get to have one of their best pitchers uh, pitch outside of Garrett Cole. And uh, the Indians aren't changing anything. They're going to still lead with Aaron Saval here, but three walks against the Indians. Um, Cortez went five innings, six hits, and two walks, and he had three walks against the Indians last time. He ended up losing to the Indians two to four, and he'll be highly motivated coming into this game. This is a guy that went seven innings, one hits, and, and no runs against the Orioles last time, and six one and zero against Boston, won the last four in a row. Um, he did go six innings, three hits, and one run against the Indians last time, but I think he bounces back here after one home run and three walks in his last game, which is a rarity for Cortez. He typically doesn't give up a home run. He typically doesn't give up three walks as well. And uh, I think, you know, you have a 2.44 ERA guy uh, who had a 2.90 ERA last year. At the end of the day, Savala is still well over a 4 ERA. Um, he went 6-5-2 and two against the Royals, 6-3-2 and two against the Royals. That's fine. But now you got to fetch against the Yankees. Uh, and in back-to-back -back starts, he has lost to the Yankees this year. 
Maybe he comes through here quite possibly, but I will take my chance with Cortez here. I think he pitches phenomenally well, and I think the Yankees probably win something to the tune of 5-2 to two or 4-2 to two today um, as well. Your YouTube premium selection today uh, is going to be in the NHL between Anaheim and New Jersey and Vancouver and Columbus. Both of them I like very much. Um, I'll probably give you the Vancouver Columbus as your YouTube premium selection today. I like that quite a bit. Um, as far as your other lean today in the NBA, I like the under between the Lakers and Golden State. It's a very interesting game. I think Golden State wants to prove a point. I didn't want to lean on Golden State, but I hate taking teams who come off a championship banner because while they're putting up the championship banner, the other team has to sit there and watch them and that irritates the heck out of them. And then they come out and motivate it with the underdog tag. But I think Golden State wants to prove that this whole Jordan Poole, Draymond Green situation is, is you know, past and it's behind them and they want to come together, a big kumbaya and win together as a team. And I get that, but I also think Draymond's going to get traded to the Lakers at some point. Uh, I think the Lakers will overpay, and I think you can't keep Poole and all Wiggins and all those guys and Moody and all those guys and keep Draymond. And Draymond is, I think they're going to move past him. I think there was a reason why that video was leaked as well. I don't think that was an accident. I don't think people are talking about that enough, why that video was leaked. And I don't think it was because of, for a couple thousand dollars at TMZ. I think that video was leaked by the staff itself just to make it easier for them to move on from Draymond so that they don't look like they're being disloyal to Draymond and what he's done for them. But I think the Warriors, you know, I think they're going to step up on the defensive side of things. Whenever they're more focused, they step up on the defensive side of things. And whenever the Lakers have any sort of success lately has been through their defensive end, not through their offensive end. Um, and therefore, even though the last four have gone over, I think this one probably goes under. That's what we have for you guys. Hope you guys do well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the YouTube videos. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. YouTube Premium, I'll see you in five minutes. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.